we're going to have a little fun, so we're going to play a game together on this over or underrated for a professional angler. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. This is the day before the hurricane. It's Monday the, the 7th, and I've been out running around doing things, getting prepared for the hurricane, but I always want to make sure that I say thank you to the people who subscribe, who are members, who are constantly interactive on the channel. I really, really, really do appreciate it. I know I say it a lot in every video, but it's, it's from the heart that I say it. It's really positive what you guys have done, and I really appreciate it. And from my family to your family, thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be, because it's free. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and be part of the team. Now we've done four or five over or underrated, and I'm gonna use the same tactic that I did with the Bass Cheaters Part Two. I think it would be fun to go through name and anglers, highlights, and talk about him and not mention his name. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to listen to the statistics of this angler and then tell me if you think he's over or underrated. I'll tell you when to pause, put it in the comments, and then hit unpause and watch the rest of the video and find out who the angler is. Now, some of you guys will know who these guys are. I'll be honest. There are a lot of you that are exceptional at knowing bass statistics or knowing bass anglers. I might know them personally, but you guys know their stats and stuff better than I do. So I really appreciate it. Having said that, if you're going to be a keyboard Karen and just be constantly negative or tell me that all I do is put drama on here or all I do is repurpose things, don't comment. I'm just going to, I'm not going to reply to you anymore. I find it really distasteful and not genuine, to be honest. I don't put these videos out to cause any drama. I'm trying to, to create a topic that you and I can discuss openly, frankly, almost like a newspaper. Not everything in the newspaper is going to be what you want to see. To be honest, to keep it real, real, drama is the only thing that you guys click on. And that's not taking a shot at anybody. But the drama is what people click on. Because I could do a closer look video and get four, five, six hundred views, which is probably the average. Or I could go and say something directly negative about somebody, cause a stir, and it'll get 10,000 clicks. And when you're trying to do this as a business, and trying to keep up with what's going on in the fishing industry, it's hard not to do stuff that is negative. And I don't want to be negative. That's the truth. I want to be unbiased. I want to give you a topic, and let's talk about the topic. It's not to throw shade at the person. It's not to do any of that. It's to create an open discussion about, is this person overrated or underrated? Now, I'm going to be kind of vague on this angler, because I think that if once I start doing this, you're going to go, oh, I know this person right away. And if you do, don't put it in the comments yet, please. But this angler has been an angler, a professional angler, for over 15 years. He's fished the Bassmaster Elite Series for a long, long time. He has fished the Bassmaster Classic eight times and won it one time. He's got four wins overall during his career, 24 top tens, and almost $2 million in career earnings. Unfortunately, right now, he's ranked in the top 200 in the world ranking. He isn't ranked real high right now. And he's very popular on social media, having almost 50,000 or over 50,000 Instagram followers. And in his first season as a rookie, he had a win. And winning on your first year as a Bassmaster Elite is something special. It doesn't happen to a lot of people. I know Trey did it this year, but this angler did it when he was a rookie years ago. I could go through his sponsors, but as soon as I said some of his sponsors, you would know who it is. But his sponsors have been all over. Some of the best, biggest in the industry. But when you take four wins, a classic win, eight classic appearances, 24 top tens over his career, $2 million in earnings. If I just told you not the name, would this angler be over or underrated as an angler only? Right now, I want you to pause. Put in there. Steve, I think he, I think the angler's overrated. I think the angler's underrated. But if those were the stats of your favorite angler, angler, would that make him over or underrated? Pause. Put it in now. Now, 
I kind of like this because I want to have an open discussion. And I know when I say the angler's name, I'm going to get a ton of certain things. And I don't mind it because it isn't about me, so I don't mind it. But what if I told you this angler was Boyd Duckett, one of the founders of Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour, one of the most polarizing anglers out there right now. A lot of people don't like him. A lot of people are going to write FBD. I know, fishing boat docks. No, it doesn't mean that. But they're going to write that. I respect it. And while everyone can, again, like or dislike him, he's had a fantastic career. Right now, I would definitely say he's overrated. But early on in his career, when he won the Classic and before Major League Fishing started, I think people would have said underrated. But what do you think? Is Boyd Duckett under or overrated as a professional angler only? Not for starting Major League Fishing, not for doing Duckett rods, none of that. Scrap that. Just on his statistics as a professional bass fishing angler. Is he over or underrated? Comment below. Did I snake you? Are you surprised that that's the angler and that's the stats that he's had? Do you like this kind of content where we keep it secret or would you rather just know up front who the person is? Comment and tell me in the comments below. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you very much. Sorry I'm sweating. I'll be honest. I was just fixing the fence. And I'm a little worried about the hurricane. But I hope everyone's safe. And I hope you're catching fish. Cheers and tight lines.